open the condensate drain valve and release the pressure in the filter system until the filter system is fully depressurized. Now unscrew the cap to remove the filter housing and take out the old filter using the handle. Wipe the inside of the filter housing with a clean cloth and check for corrosion damage or hairline cracks. Before you change the cartridge, please note the following points. For safety reasons, compressor systems powered by combustion motors may only use filter cartridges with CO removal. Compressor systems powered by electric motors can use standard filter cartridges. When you are installing a new filter cartridge, only unpack the new cartridge immediately before you install it. Otherwise, the ambient air may prematurely saturate the new cartridge. Lightly grease the cartridge pin with N19091 or N19752 lubricant. Hold the cartridge by the handle and insert it into the filter housing. Then apply slight pressure to snap it into place. Lightly grease the screw threads and the o-ring on the filter head with N19091 or N19752 lubricant. Now replace the filter housing cap and turn it manually as far as it will go. Use the tool supplied to continue tightening the cap until it is fully tightened. Now unscrew the cap one quarter turn. This prevents the screw threads from seizing up. It is the o-ring in the cap that creates the seal, not the screw thread. Dispose the saturated filter in accordance with local requirements. For more information, see the operating manual for your power compressor. The frequency of oil changes follows the frequency of maintenance intervals. For more details, see the maintenance instructions for your system. Oil should always be changed when the system is at operating temperature. First remove the dipstick. Now use an SW17 open-ended spanner to remove the oil drain screw at the bottom of the crankcase. Collect the oil in a suitable container. When the oil is fully drained, replace the screw plug. The cast on seal is designed for multiple use. Now fill up with fresh oil up to the top mark on the dipstick. After an oil change, wait a few minutes before restarting the system.